Hello, I am Vincent Von Nightmare, and I will be trying to teach you how to play Nymphetamine by Cradle of Filth on guitar today. This is not a very difficult song. The important thing is to take your time learning it. It's very easy. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can. This is the first time I'm doing this uh, to teach you how to play this. So let's start. Uh, the tuning is originally in C standard, but we're not going to do that. We're going to be doing a drop C tuning. That means it is uh, one whole step back with a drop. So that means it's that is a B on the high E string, an A on the B string, an F on the G string, a C on the D string, a G on the A string, and then a C on the low E string. And so, if you've ever played in drop D before, it's just like that, just a whole step lower. That means you only have to do power chords with one finger on the top three strings. Alright, and once you have your guitar tuned up, we could start. Now, the way I have this set up is that it's on a piece of paper. Very simple, and I'll show you how to play these parts. This song only has five whole parts. It starts off with part one, that is the only time you play part one. And then you go into part two, three, four, and then five, and then two, three, four, then five, and then the song ends. That's it. That's all there is. Five parts. And so you do part one, which is one riff or one line, four times, which is... Well, I dropped my pick. It's a great way to start a lesson. And there went my cell phone. But the part one is very, very simple. It's very slow, and it's just open. Then three. Three, the uh, third fret. Hitting all, make sure when you do this, you're hitting all three top strings. The C, G, e, and the C. So, so you have the open, third fret, then you're going to go up to eight, that's it, and it's open. That is the whole riff in the intro. And that do it does that four times back to back to back before moving on to the next part, which is a little bit more, it involves more fingers. And it, you're, the way to do it, you can do downstrokes, but I recommend alternate picking for this. Makes it a lot easier, makes it less of a headache. Uh, but after that, you're going to go to the G string, yes. And you're going to go down to the... 10th fret. And I like to slide into it. Like that. And it's going to be... Basically that over and over again. But uh, the notes that it is, is it's... It is 10, 9, 10. So it's... Then it's a 10, 9, 10... Seven. Just like that. Ten, nine, ten, seven. Just like that. And then it's going to change this note. It's going to go into that note, which is on the tenth fret on the now C string, even though it is the D string. And it's just going to be. Then it's going to slide back again to the, hmm, what is that, sorry, 8th fret on the D string, which is the C, and then it's going to do it again, just like that. So, so far we have... After that, you want to go so 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 12, 9. Well, 
that's our tin nine. There, got mixed up, and that's pretty much it. So once again. And that sounds really good. Uh, they harmonize that. And so if you have a harmony pedal, I have one by Boss, you want to sit it, set it at C. This whole song is in C. Just like that. All right, moving on to the next part, the third part. And you do that twice. And on the ending one, sorry, before we move on to the third part, you do that whole segment twice. And then on the ending one, you do the Just like that. So, I'll play it all the way through, just one really quick time. Then it moves on to the third part which you only do twice, which is very, very easy. It's probably the easiest part of the song, other than the intro. And it's going to be palm muted. And it is just nine to five. Sorry, not nine to five. Seven to five. Yeah, seven to five. Seven to three. Seven, five, three. Just like that. You just do that twice. And that's pretty much it. That's the, the probably the easiest part of the whole song. And then we have, what is it, uh, part four, which uh, I also like to do with harmony pedal because they harmonize it on the, uh, the album. And it is a little interesting. You slide in on the A string to three. And you slide from, you slide in to the three to a five, just like that. And that's going up to 7 to 8. So we have. Just like that. Once you slide up, so it's. And that is sliding from. Sliding up to the 8 and hitting. 10. Then it is going from there all the way up to 12 to 13 to 11. Just like that. So we have. And just like you saw there, I messed up one of the slides. You gotta make sure they're very smooth and consistent. Um, I will slow that down for you, because it's a little bit hard to complain, <laughs> explain, dear lord, grammar, not my strong suit. Uh, I'll slow that down for you, so you can really see what my hands are doing. And basically, like I said, it's just the three. Then, what I did in my video was I went up to the G string, but just played everything up, played everything two frets higher. So when it was here, it'd be here, just like you're doing a uh, an octave jump, just like that. 
So it's the same exact shapes, just one whole fret, uh, sorry, two whole frets up. So it's... <laughs> That's it. Same exact shapes, same exact techniques, sliding into everything and uh, hammering on and pulling off. Just, you know. Just like that, but up here. Whoops. That's it. That's that part. Then it goes into part five. Once again, uh, very easy. It only consists of four notes. Yeah. Well, yeah, five notes, sorry. And it is basically after you get done with... It goes back to the sixth fret on the, uh, the E, A, and D. Yeah. But uh, does the whole... On six. Then it's just nine, eight, five, six, nine, eight, five, six, nine, eight, five, six, nine, eight, five, six, then open on the last one. So once again. basically the entire song but then it goes around one more time and so we went through part one two three four and five and then it goes it starts back off with part two again which was that section but the way it does is it slides in with the ending so he goes then he starts going back into it so it'd be And so on and so forth. Then it goes back through part three, which is. Really easy. Then it goes back into the sliding bits. Got all that. Then it does. It does. The only difference this the second time go around is when it does. Part four, the sliding bits. It does it four times. And the way I like to do this, or the way, at least the way I did it in my video, was I did the low, and then I did the high three times with a harmonizer. So it was just. Then did the high part. Just did it two more times after that, then went back into part five. You do that four times just like you did before. And then when you hit the open, you fade it out, that's the end of the song. That's it. So just take it slow. Remember, there's only five parts. You do part one four times. Part two, two times. Part three, two times. Part four, two times. Part five, four times. You always do part five, four times. Then part two, two times. Part three, two times. And then when you go to do part four again, the second time through, you do it four times. And then part five. Let's say two. It needs to be a four. That's a critical error. I failed you. But no, that, that's basically the entire song. That's all the parts. Slow it down. Take your time with it. Don't rush. If this isn't 
helping you learn the song, I highly recommend songster.com. Uh, they have really good tabs, but they do have this tab, but it's in C standard. I think it's a whole lot easier to play it uh, in drop C, just in my opinion. You might be more comfortable with uh, open C, uh, or C standard, sorry, C standard. Um, but yeah, just really take your time with it. If you don't have a harmony pedal, don't worry about it. It doesn't make the song or anything. Well, it does, but I'm feeding you lies. I'm sorry for that. But just basically, like I said, take your time, take it slow, practice it. If uh, this video does help you, look up tabs. Um, there's a lot of really great uh, tabs out there. That's how I learned it, and then I just converted it to drop C. Uh, basically, that's it. I hope this helped you. I, I'm sorry if this is kind of a crappy tutorial. It is my first one, or lesson, I should say. Same thing. Ugh. But uh, just uh, don't be too harsh on me. I have a weak heart. And uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you.